Hello everyone, <clears throat> my name is uh, Douglas Tree and this is the first video for Chemical Engineering 263 on numerical tools. So I'm excited to introduce you to this topic and we're going to have a whole bunch of videos uh, for this class. I hope you follow along. Um, many of you uh, I'm sure are students at Brigham Young University uh, taking this course. Um, if you're not, welcome and I'm excited to have you watch these videos. So the order uh, for this first uh, day as I'm going to uh, outline the, the syllabus and the schedule for this course um, and outline the materials that we're going to cover and then I'm going to go into an introduction to numerical computing. Okay, so first uh, the syllabus and schedule. Um, normally I would I would introduce myself a little more personally. I'm going to do that in, in class in person um, but I'll just say that I'm a professor uh, at Brigham Young University. I'm assistant professor at Brigham Young University uh, and I study uh, polymer materials. I do computational and simulation research and I do a lot of the things that we do in this class uh, specifically uh, uh, for my research. So um, let me just go over the, the syllabus and schedule so you can understand what's in the course. Um, you can read these. Let me, let me just first point out we have a couple of uh, online uh, resources. So what I'm showing here, um, which I'll maybe move over to this side of the screen, um, is the course website. Um, so if you go to www.et.byu.edu, um, slash tilde uh, tree dog you come to this landing page here which is my uh, personal research group website um, and you click on teaching and you come to this first link here which is chemical engineering 263 uh, computational tools and you can see all the materials we have uh, uh, for the course um, and in particular you can see the syllabus uh, and the schedule um, all of the homeworks will be posted here um, and all of the course notes and links uh, to the various uh, videos will be posted here. Um, there's also uh, a bunch of information for references. We don't have a textbook for this course, um, but there are many uh, useful doc uh, things in do terms of documentation. Um, there's also websites by other faculty who teach this class at Brigham Young University that I think are super valuable. Um, so, so there's that. Um, uh, also, if you're a BYU student, you know about uh, Learning Suite. Um, so Learning Suite is BYU's uh, 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 course uh, online uh, uh, course teaching uh, profile or, or, or software online software for administering the course um, through this we'll have uh, quizzes exams um, and this is where you'll submit your homework um, so there's that for you um, lastly uh, there's a, a, a YouTube uh, channel which is where this video is posted and if you're a uh, uh, student, I, I'd invite you to please subscribe to the channel. Um, if you're anybody, I'd invite you to please subscribe to the channel so you can get all the latest updates on all the things that we have. Okay, so that's our online uh, presence. So let's go ahead and step through um, and talk a little bit about uh, the syllabus and how the course is going to work. Um, due to the current uh, uh, situation with the, the uh, coronavirus mass tran uh, transmission, um, the universities uh, put all of our courses online. So all of our uh, meeting times will be done on Zoom uh, uh, through this link here. Um, if uh, for some reason uh, that link changes, I'll be sure to update you. Um, but for now, the, this is the link we'll use all the time with this meeting ID. Um, and our course meets on Tuesday and Thursday um, from 9 a.m. to 10.50 a.m. Uh, uh, Mount Daily Time. And uh, so you can see uh, my personal information here and the information for uh, RTA, which is available on the web. Um, and more description about the course website, which I just talked to, just, just talked to you about. So let me just tell you a little bit about what's in this course. Um, in this course, uh, we cover two uh, two things. We cover a spreadsheet tool and a programming language. The spreadsheet tool that we use is Microsoft Excel. The programming language that we cover is Python. And um, what we're learning is how to uh, solve uh, basically math problems, uh, different kinds of math problems that you encounter in uh, chemical engineering in both of these tools and see uh, what use they are. Um, and we'll talk about that a little later today when I, when I do a little brief introduction to numerical computing, um, but that's basically what we're, what we're trying to do in this class. Um, so uh, there's a list of learning outcomes that you can expect from this course. Uh, we're going to talk about unit conversions and dimensional consistency and, and how they relate to solving problems uh, numerically. Um, you'll learn about spreadsheets, um, which we just talked about, and about programming. Um, almost the entire first third of the class is an introduction to programming um, and how to use program structures. Um, and then we'll dive into solving 
uh, numerical and symbolic problems um, on a computer, um, including uh, the, the ones listed here, solving equations, etc. Um, and that's really the bulk of the course is, is this bullet point here. Um, we'll also talk about some basic you know, uh, problem solving strategies as they relate to procedural algorithms, etc. As I said, there's no, no textbook in the course. Um, and a quick note, um, this class is being taught in a spring term, the one that I'm recording for here. And in spring term, we proceed uh, at twice the rate that we do in a normal semester. Um, so just, just make note of that. And again, we'll talk about that in our Zoom meeting. Um, uh, what I what I want to go over really quickly here in this uh, in this piece in this lecture is to talk about the format for this class. So this uh, class, do these, the online uh, component will follow a flipped classroom format more or less. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post lecture videos like this one on YouTube, uh, and uh, those will be posted um, uh, before on or before the day of the lecture listed in the schedule. Um, and there will be the lecture video, um, and sometimes there'll also be extra example videos that will go with the homework, um, and uh, those will all go up. And then our course time, the class time that we have where we meet on Zoom, is an open time for you to ask me questions um, about the content. So you can log on, ask me for help. I'll go over the examples, I'll go over homework problems, I'll go over lecture, whatever you find useful. Um, I'm, I'm there to, to, to interact with you in that time, okay? Um, so uh, that that's what that time is uh, for. Um, we'll then have two ways in which you're accountable for that information in the near term. The first are quizzes. They'll be short um, daily quizzes about uh, the material in the lectures. So, so uh, you'll watch the lectures and then there's quizzes about the lectures um, that you'll have to take um, in order to just show that you retain the information in the, in the, in the lectures. These quizzes um, you can take uh, twice. So they're timed. They're only five minutes long. They'll only be about five questions. But you'll take the quiz. Uh, and So you'll need to watch the video first. You can't watch the video and have the quiz open and be clicking through. You have to watch the video, take the quiz. But if you miss uh, questions on it, you can take it again um, so that you can uh, do better. Okay. So um, the important part is uh, to note there is that you can take this twice and then it's time and you need to watch the videos first. The second thing, um, uh, the, the way you need to interact is through the homework. Um, so there'll be homework problems posted for every class. Um, they'll be due by midnight on the next day of class. So I can pull up the schedule here and we can um, look at that. Let me just pull that up here. If you look on the schedule today, we're doing an introduction to numerical computing if you're following along with us uh, uh, sequentially. Um, and then uh, uh, we'll also do the second lecture today because we're going twice as fast because this is a spring term um, and we're going to do an introduction to Excel and Python also. Okay, so this will be two class periods which will mean we'll have two quizzes and two homework assignments which will be due before uh, midnight on the April 30th, on Thursday, April 30th. Okay, but then two new videos will get posted on April 30th, okay, at least two new lectures and homeworks and those will be due the following Tuesday, okay. And so this rhythm will follow uh, again and again and again until we come to the exams, which I'll talk about in a second. So a couple of things about the homeworks. Um, the homeworks uh, are, are meant for you to do. Uh, you, uh, you don't get the answers to the homework before um, you do them. But what I am doing is many, uh, in, the, in the past I've given out some practice problems. I'm turning those practice problems, uh, some of them into uh, example videos uh, for you to do, um, and so those example videos uh, are to help you accomplish those homework problems, and they'll have the full solution that I work out in that case for those problems. So I highly recommend that you watch the videos of the example problems so that you get used to, to going through those before you do the homework, because that's really your opportunity to sit down and try that. So I'll do a couple examples, and then maybe what I'll do you know, is, is uh, show you the problem at the beginning of the video, ask you to try and work it out okay, on your own, and then I'll show you the solution. Um, and if you do that process, it'll be much easier to do the homework problem later, okay? Um, that said, uh, I think that's all I'm uh, going to say. Oh, I'll just say, um, like many things in engineering, we highly encourage you to do group work. Um, group work is uh, meant to help you, um, so please reach out to your classmates through the mess messaging or through email. Um, we highly encourage that. But it is academically dishonest to, do, to turn in the same assignment. So if both of you... 
um, you know, suppose there's Jack and Jill, and Jack and Jill both work on the homework together. They have a Zoom meeting. They're both working on it. Um, what is appropriate is for Jack to, have, to be talking to Jill and for both of them to have uh, separate homework assignments that they're working on together that may look pretty similar, okay, that they turn in, all right, that have their names on them, that have their own work. What would be inappropriate is for Jack and Jill to share a file, for Jack and Jill to both lo load up one file, edit it together, have it be completely identical, and then turn that in. What would also be inappropriate would be for Jack to do number one and Jill to do number two, for both of them to copy and paste those assignments together and then send them together, okay? So uh, so that's some examples uh, uh, about that. It's also uh, academically dishonest to go looking for a solution manual. So some of the homework problems, uh, perhaps, uh, I've done in the past and a student has posted somewhere. I, I hope not. I haven't found those, but if I have, I'd appreciate it if you'd send them to me. Um, but it, it would be inappropriate for you to use that or say someone made a YouTube video uh, doing a solution. That's not something that, I'd, that I've asked them to do. That would also be inappropriate. Okay. All right. Um, so that's a little bit about the homework. Um, our exams will be given in class. Um, they'll be, uh, they will cover uh, the, uh, or excuse me, our exams will be on, on Learning Suite, on the BYU Learning Suite uh, software. Um, they will be uh, uh, two midterms, so we'll have a first third of the class and a midterm, a second third of the class and a midterm, um, and then we'll have a comprehensive final exam that will have an emphasis on the final third of the class. The midterms will be timed, they'll be 70 minutes long, um, but they are open book and open notes and open internet but they're not open another human being, okay? So you're not allowed to ask help from another person, um, including a virtual person that you've never met. So you're not allowed to post the question on uh, uh, Stack Exchange or something hoping for an answer. Probably don't have time for that anyway um, because you only have 70 minutes, um, but that's, that's the rules, okay? So the exams are meant to be difficult enough um, that it's gonna take you a brisk pace to be able to get through them in 70 minutes, okay? Um, uh, I do I do not uh, accommodate makeup exams, uh, especially in this online format. It'll be open for multiple days. You'll have a chance to do that. Um, however, if there is a problem, um, if you're deathly ill, if you have coronavirus or anything, um, uh, please uh, contact me. We can work something out. Okay. Um, here's the grade scale. Uh, you can uh, look at that uh, uh, at, at your leisure. Okay. Um, so uh, I guess the last thing I'll say about the structure of the course. Um, is the sort of thirds of the course that we're going through. So here's the uh, the schedule. The first uh, nine lectures really uh, cover um, uh, programming and programming concepts. I, I call this numerical computing. Um, it's not just programming in the way um, that you think about it um, from a computer science perspective. They have a different perspective than engineers. We're much more interested in numerical calculations and mathematics and how we do that on a computer. Um, but we really don't even have time to go that much into all the things you would in a computer science class on programming. Um, we're really just hitting the highlights uh, uh, in, in Python um, and Excel. Um, and then the second part of the class I call numerical algebra. So here we're solving linear algebraic and nonlinear algebraic problems, uh, including matrices and, and you know polynomials and all sorts of good stuff in nonlinear algebra. Um, and then we'll have an exam. Then the last part I call numerical calculus, and we'll start out with some fitting and interpolation, um, which, as you'll see, will lead uh, right into numerical integration, and so we'll be able to do integrals. Um, and then we'll talk about uh, differentiation some, um, and specifically then we'll move on to differential equations and solving um, ordinary differential equations, uh, specifically inter uh, initial value problems. Um, and then that will wrap us up, um, and, and we'll be on to the final exam. Okay, so that's the, the content in this course. Um, that's the basic structure uh, and outline. I'll, of course, uh, uh, take questions um, on uh, this material when we meet um, in, in the Zoom. So that's, that's great.